Hello, this is the simulation for my reflex uh, reaction tester. Um, I made a simulation video because uh, of uh, because it's easier to see what's going on in each and every register um, as compared to the implementation video where I just show you the FPGA board and only the inputs and outputs. But this way, what goes on in every register, how it happens, um, is more clear. So let's start by going through the inputs and outputs and the registers. The LED um, right here is this, which is the stimulus for the reaction. It, it should go high as soon as the timer starts. The clock reset, start, and stop. The usual um, signals for all of my uh, projects. The ticker, which will keep, uh, which is related to the stopwatch. Um, yeah. Um, I've explained this in detail in my stopwatch post. Uh, do check it out. Um, the select register, the count register that will keep uh, that will keep count of uh, the value picked up from the random register. Register zero thrill thrill three. I just said thrill three. Register zero till three uh, are the individual outputs that will be passed on to the multiplexing circuit, which is then further, which are then further passed on to uh, the individual seven segment displays um, the state register and the go start which will uh, enable the timer and uh, of course the linear feedback shift register which will generate the random number now after reset as we have designed it it should display a high on the output and uh, we have 12 and 12 displayed on the first and last uh, registers which shows a hyphen or a dash and 10 and 11 which shows H and I. Um, <coughs> so a high will be displayed until start is pressed. Also the random register starts working and starts outputting random numbers. Another thing I would like to mention here is um, the register sizes are different from my code, uh, the code I gave on my blog. The reason for that is because simulation. Uh, I have to edit the values and uh, change it from real life values. For example, the count register um, in my actual code um, <coughs> should count up to 500 million. Now imagine if I sit here and wait for this to count up to 500 million on my ancient laptop, um, I would obviously run out of memory before that happens. So I had to change the values and um, I already got a message that I'm running out of space. <laughs> she sucks. Um, all right, where was I? Yeah, all right. So what happens here, we will, the system will wait for the start button to be pressed and till then display a high, um, the, the word high. On the, out, uh, on the output, as soon as start is pressed, what happens is the value from the random register is picked up and shifted to the count register, and the count register will increment from this value, thus ensuring a random delay, um, a, a random time every time. And uh, this will count to 8191 instead of the 500 million um, because 8191 is the maximum output for 13 bit registers. At 8191, once it reaches the maximum value, uh, it will turn on the LED. Uh, also, the state register notice has shifted from 00 to 01, which is the count state. Now, as soon as this reaches 8191, notice the LED went high. Good enough. What happens next is LED is on. They stop displaying the word high. Instead, the, sh the control is transferred to the timer, and the timer starts from 0000. zero, zero, zero. The state register quickly shifts from 0, 01 to 10 zero and 11. One, one. In state 11, one, one, it waits for the stop button. Also, what happens is the ticker starts. The ticker is related to the stopwatch, and um, I think the value I gave it over here is 500. Um, in in actual real life implementation, it's 500,000. Uh, so when it reaches 500, um, reg D3 will increment. Let's 
in yeah reached 500 incremented um, the tick reg ticker register uh, reset itself and started from zero again this ensures um, this uh, ensures a, a accurate delay and stopwatch I've also explained that in my stopwatch post do check it out please and the the go start also I forgot to mention the go start was enabled as um, as well at this state as soon as we went from state reg 101 to 10 which the go start enables the timer <coughs> this stopped displaying the high when reg d3 reaches 9 it will um, oh sorry I went to the end but um, good enough uh, you can see the working here what's happening here is the timer actually working when the stop button is pressed um, the timer will stop and show you your reaction time uh, normally I read it should be between 0. Point, um, I don't want to give a wrong digit a wrong figure here actually I forgot I'll mention it in my implementation video read up on that thank you for watching and I hope this helped